Okay, so here is the ripple tank experiment. We're going to be creating waves in the water. Uh, now, waves in water are obviously transverse waves, which means that they move 90 degrees in the direction of motion. I'm going to show you how to set this up. We'll do the easy bit first, which is setting up this power pack with the lamp. So the power pack is connected to the lamp, and the lamp has been slotted into the two holes, one of the two holes, which is in the... Um, this apparatus, I've got a ripple tank apparatus. Next, we'll be connecting up uh, the power pack for the motor, which is directly connected to this motor here, is the power pack. It's going to be connected to the motor, and we're going to connect it up also to a rheostat, which you should know controls the amount of current, well, increases or decreases the resistance, and therefore controls the amount of current that can flow through a circuit. So we're going to connect this up, and I'll show you how it looks. So I've got this wire here from the motor connected to the power pack. Now the colour code does matter because it's positive and negative stuff happening in the motor. Uh, so I've got the positive, or oh well, the black wire in the black port. So if you can see that, there's a black port there. And then I've got uh, the other wire from uh, the motor going into the rheostat. And then at the other end of the rheostat, at the bottom end, I've got a wire connecting back to the power pack. So that's how it looks from a bird's eye view. So let's have a look. What I've also done is I've put this post into the second hole. If you remember there was a hole for the lamp, I put the lamp in that hole and this is another hole uh, for the to attach the motor on both springs. So the, this bar had a spring and I just attached it onto here and attached the other one onto the other post. Now the aim of this is to get this motor onto the surface of the water so it shouldn't be too deep it should be just on the surface of the water and then we'll be able to do some calculations which I'll go through later so I've got my beaker of water which I'm going to pour onto there so that there's a film covering the top and the film has to be balanced so it shouldn't be lopsided or anything so I'm going to pour that water on now so here's the end setup and what we have now is the power pack um, and we're just going to switch on the power pack, this power pack here, uh, which is switched on because the light's on. Now, uh, with this, what you want to do is you want to put the, uh, the motor, the power pack for the motor, you want to turn it up. You can find adjust the speed using the rheostat because you can increase or decrease the resistance, which increases or decreases the current. Uh, so you know, adjusting the current flow. Now, this is a shaft, okay, so it's a bit heavy on one side, so we need to give it a bit of push to get it going in the first place. So I'm going to give it a push and it will go. I'm turning up the speed to help it. So there it is. So now what you guys are going to do is you're going to count the lines. So we're going to count the wave, how many waves there are, say from here to this point here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to measure the distance from that point to this point using a ruler and then you will get the distance so the distance that you measured from the ruler and divide it by the number of waves that you saw and that will give you the wavelength and that is all you have to do very simple so there is that equation that you need to do wavelength is equal to the number of waves that you counted divided by the total distance that you measured using the ruler. Okay. Next, what else you can do is you can make observations. So what you can observe is, well, what happens if we increase the frequency? So what happens if we increase the speed of the motor? What's going to happen to the number of waves per second? I'd like to thank Mr. Carrier and Mr. Liddell for helping me out with this tutorial. Two absolute legends. Thank you very much, boy.